Ram Lethal versus what's it called uh, Faust, 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 Faust. Where are you? Good oh, lord, let me. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you very much for uh, the wait. We are ready to rumble. So, the first match is gonna be none other than Suzura versus Wall. So, Wall has been a recurring participant in our Brojo Cup and a very welcome to that. Suzura, I do believe it's probably his second participation. I do recall having seen him in previous iteration of the Brojo Cup, but it's always a pleasure to see character variation because believe it or not we don't have a lot of ram players over here well in japan that is so that being said here we go with the start of the match and you can see that suzura is on the verge of taking and actually just as i say it manages to take it with the overdrive and the wall break very nicely done by suzura on going to the second round a wonderful counter hit in the air with suzura and that counter hit from Wall actually challenges the pressure, but Suzura with <laughs> unfortunately slips on the banana. Very gutsy uh, dash from Suzura right into a 6 speed. I thought Ram Lethal was a popular in tournament place. Uh, I think she is actually. Abroad, that is. Uh, I, I actually don't know now, right? <laughs> now that you mention it, I do know that a lot of people complain about her. Very nice uh, fishing rod right there from Wall. Oh, and here we go with the Calvados into Roman Cancel into Schmixes. Nice challenge for Mole, though. Uh, that's a very gutsy. Ah, that's a very gutsy challenge, but unfortunately, he gets uh, aerial attacked. And first match goes to Tsuzura in a pretty convincing fashion. It's definitely not entirely one sided, but you can feel that Tsuzura does have a little bit of problems trying to impose his pace, but hopefully. Uh, hopefully we shall see how it goes. Uh, and uh, yeah, next match. <laughs> Yo, sorry, miss. Yeah. So scrub lord, sorry. It's uh, yeah, your match is coming up next. Yeah, not right now actually. Before. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, and here we go with the <laughs> Gilgamesh. How are you doing, man? No, no, it's not. No, 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 no. They're not. Ziga. They're not. Your match is gonna be the next one, actually. I kind of messed up the uh, the order, unfortunately, because uh, Tonomel kind of uh, went completely crazy. So your match is gonna be on stream next. Okay. So just uh, just. Uh, be on standby, please do not start your match yet, okay? And here we go with the Rekka from Tsuzura and again with the, <laughs> the challenge from Wall, man. This dude has some pretty, pretty big cojones, not gonna lie. And very nice, uh, very nice use of the command grab right there. Uh, and finally, well, not finally, but Tsuzura again wakes up and is just extremely aggressive, man. Very, very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, you're next on stream, you are. Yeah, the gold burst, Gilga, it does happen. Nice burst. Okay, and here we go with Suzura and the ongoing pressure into the Calvados. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage, man. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, and here we go. Okay, okay, that was, um, that was interesting, not gonna lie. Good stuff from Suzura. Takes the first round of the second match. And on with the wall, unfortunately gets 6 speed quite violently right now. Wasn't quite able to do anything about it. And here we go with the bread and butter from Tsuzura. And already down 40% live from Faust. Faust doesn't have a lot of health. Which explains, especially when he's fighting against somebody who has such a high damage output. Such as Ram Lethal. Then, yeah. First save BNBs, of course, of course. She needs it. She needs it, man. Would you rather fight this or not go to you? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the RC into Calvados just for added mental damage right there. And Suzuna takes it with a perfect, nevertheless. Damn, we love to see it. It's not fun when it's only happy chaos in Nagori Yuki, so definitely I'm all for character diversity. That being said, let me update this as well. So, this is May versus Ship Zanuf. <laughs> Chief Zanuf. Okay, anyways, here we go. It's going to be a Totsugeki Fest. Scrublord Ziga, actually a very strong mate player. Uh, coming straight from America, by the way. 
which is a uh, very very where is the 5 hc in top 8 not in here sir we have actual character diversity here <laughs> and thank goodness we do because i would definitely not play the game anymore if it wasn't the case that being said here we go with the start of the round and Ito doing a good job of trying to uh, contain scrub lord ziga in the corner but as you can see uh ziga san managed to get out of the corner gets hit by a counter hit right there no uh no burst on the part of scrub lord ziga wants to hold on to it a little bit longer i suppose but look at that look at that wrist bar man oh and here we go death sentence you are dead nice juggle very nice juggle by scrub lord ziga takes the first round character variety on Brojo Cup is very good actually. I'm not gonna lie, I have to admit it's the case. <laughs> no, seriously, it's actually pretty good. How are you doing, Zum? Welcome back. And yeah, no man, like that's one thing I really like about my tournament is that it, we don't always see the same uh, characters in top eight. I mean, uh, we do see sometimes the same characters, but it's never like a repetition of the same character. For example, like there was a tournament which took place in America like uh, recently, and you could see that like half of the top eight was like happy chaos, you know. It was really, I saw this, I was like, oh my lord, please do something about this. But here we don't really have this problem, which is really cool actually, so it's actually good. So anyways, that being said, here we go, Ver oh lord, and the RC fest right there, and very nice. Oh, hit confirmed, but it too wasn't quite able to seal the deal, but gets it with the Gamma Blade. Very nicely done by Ito-san. One round eight piece. Let's see how this. Uh, let's see how this goes. We have a little bit of lag. Okay, we did have a little bit of stutter right there, but it's okay. It's back to normal. Oh, and we have a lot of lag actually. Okay, this is a lot of lag, and you can see that Scrub Lord Ziga is definitely not. Oh, very nice 6P right there from Ito-san. What was that? The wake-up sweep right there from Scrub Lord Ziga. He's gonna get juggle. Unfortunately, Ito-san drops the combo, but doesn't drop the overdrive. He's gonna get the positive bonus during rollback beta. I mean, I played Chip in XR, and oh boy, he's faster. Yeah, he is, and he is. He definitely is. Well, he's actually pretty fast in here as well, but, well, he does have a, a lot less, like, mobility, I guess, since he could literally TP anywhere he wanted in, uh, in Exert. And this should actually do... Yeah, this is gonna kill. Very nice stuff by Scrub Lord Ziga takes the first match quite convincingly, actually. We did have a lot of stutters, though. Hopefully it's uh, only gonna be temporary, but it should be okay, hopefully. We shall see. Getting on to the uh, second match. It was being a little bit more conservative this time around. Finds the opening with the jumping H. He's got Scrub Lord right where he won, but Scrub Lord finding the correct timing to mash. <laughs> As he rightfully should. Okay, here we go with the aerial approach from Ito. Finds the jumping to uh, D. The jumping to D, yes. He will get the overdrive into the wall break. And here we go with the positive bonus. Nice jump in right there. Goes for the empty, not the MTD. Uh, the safe jump and goes for the overhead into the RC. Unfortunately, Scrub Lord is actually pretty freaking solid, man. You cannot open him up that easily. Oh, he tried to go with the. Oh, no! Almost got hit. And here we go. Okay, Scrub Lord holds on to his burst and gets hit by the follow up of the 2S into 2H. Very nicely done. Could teleport behind opening or teleport into air near opening, both back and front teleport thing. Yeah. That was crazy, man. I hated playing against him in uh, XRD. Not that I like playing him into, in, in Strive either, but... Damn, they... Uh, apartment really downgraded... They're apparently downgraded Ziga's internet. They, ah, yeah, probably. I suppose, yeah. Okay, here we go with the very, very nice confirm right there from Eto. He's gonna get, again, the positive bonus into uh, arguably Chip's winning condition. Fortunately, gets jumped in... On oh, Scrub Lord's a get, uh, attempt to get out of the corner. Fortunately for uh, Ito, he wasn't quite able to. Oh Lord, and you are dead. Goodbye, GGs. Shake my hand. Don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> sugarcoat it. I'm sorry. Not American. I cannot speak English correctly. Anyways, here we go. Only thing I don't like in Strive and uh, I don't like in him and Strive is his baggy pants. I actually love his baggy pants. I, I find it super cool. Oh lord! And here we go with the Totsugeki. Scrub Lord trying to get out of the corner successfully. He does so, by the way. Oh, gets the juggle, but Ito fires that burst right away. He wants to get out. He wants out of the corner. Goes low this time around. Finds the opening. 
Goes for the Suki, unfortunately. Ah, gets it by the by the challenge of Scrub Lord. Man, it's been working so good. And here we go with the Oh, that was so good. The anti-air uh Totsugeki by Scrub Lord Ziga takes the second match. Ito trying to probably recollect himself. Trying to see, uh, maybe try to change his angle to, uh, well, get in, basically. We shall see. We shall see, we shall see. We have some time, we have some guys. Don't worry. Here we go with the, again, the overdrive. And Ito securing that very much needed hard knockdown. What will be the Okizeme? Ooh, a badly timed 2HS, but still okay. Scrub Lord Ziga didn't realize that the 2HS whiff. And here we go with the clash into the Rekka counter hit. It's gonna be up. Oh, unfortunately, no death, but it's still okay. Surprise, Hakuman-chan. How are you doing, man? Welcome to the tournament, and good luck for today, by the way. Oh, okay, here we go. The jumping, jumping HS, man. You have to 6 speed very early if you wish to enter it. The hitbox of this move is ridiculous. <laughs> and here we go with the wall break. Have a good... Thank you very much, Hakuman. You're out already? Oh, I can't believe that. You're not out already, are you? Oh, okay, you couldn't participate today. Okay, that's the reason why. I thought that, yeah, that that, that you were the uh, cancellation that we had. Oh, yeah, I couldn't make it on t time today. It's okay, man, no worries. Yeah, we have you have more important things to attend to, I'm pretty sure. So don't worry, man. It's, it's perfectly okay. And here we go with the wall break. Oh, didn't kill. Actually, this is surprising. Okay, here we go with the Totsugeki again. And the attempt of Ito trying to... Hit something with the aerial DP. Unfortunately, Scrub Lord Ziga did delay it, probably sniffing something out. And here we go with oh, the very correctly, um, well, the well guarded overhead that Ito tried to did tried to oh sneak in. And here we go with oh Lord, very nice jump out from Ito. Sniffed out that command grab. He needs to get out. Oh Lord, and it will get hit by the aerial Totsugeki, and again with the jumping back. It has it has been the bane of it, the bane, and almost there. Oh Lord, that cheeky grab attempt right there from Scrub Lord Ziga. I'm very impressed. It was actually able to take it very nicely done. And here we go with oh Lord, the pressure man. It does not want to go into losers and. Very nice jungle. Oh no, it's not gonna be enough. One last chance for each of them. Okay, try to sniff a Totsugeki out and gets hit by the 4 HS. Unfortunately, but good. It's gonna be none other than Jacko versus Ramlethal Valentine. Very, very nice matchup. Uh, I don't, I'm probably in favor of, um, I, I probably <laughs> in favor of Ram. I cannot put, uh, I cannot really bet my life on it, but. This is probably my own interpretation of the matchup. And here we go. However, Haruki doing a good job of already cornering uh, Koji-san. And koji no know Mawashi Mono. Okay. Anyways, here we go. Uh, with Haruki keeping the pressure, wanting to get the win with the wall break. Very nicely done by Haruki. Gets the first match very convincingly. Here we go with the jump back D. But gets hit by the 4S into 4HS of Koji. Haruki trying to get out of the corner, gets counter hit it right away. Tries to put the minion on the stage, but Koji really trying not to give him any leeway to do so. Okay, one, one sword was thrown. Koji couldn't quite get it back. It's still okay. He goes for the Rekka too far to get punished whatsoever. My lord with the Schmix is using the RC going low. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Koji doesn't want to let up. Ah, and hits Haruki with the sword throw. Very nicely done. Jacko Valentine versus Ram Valentine. Yes, Mama versus Daughter. Okay, here we go with the sword throw. Trying to keep Haruki in the corner. He hits him on block while in the air. And Haruki has it to hold it. He gets open and look at that fair damage. Good lord. <laughs> Look at that damage! <laughs> Fair damage, he needs it. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Anyways, here we go. Haruki finds the opening, challenges with a 2k, trying to get out of the corner, pushes her ever so slightly out of the corner, but Koji finds the opening with the 6p. 
There we go. Very nice. YRC, but Koji just lets it rip, trying to keep the momentum going. Unfortunately, he gets grabbed and side switch again with the grab by Haruki. Maintaining the pressure. He got the burst, but uh, Koji managed to make it out of the corner. This is a little bit of a bad news for Haruki. However, he does find the opening. Couldn't quite get the fake cross up in. That would have spelled death probably. Tries to go for the shimmy, but Koji not biting whatsoever. Here we go with the 2, not the 2SD, 4S into 4HS and finds the opening with the 6P anti-air. Very nicely done by Koji. Takes the first match by the skin of his teeth. You have to say it, we have to admit it. That was actually pretty tight. Good stuff by Koji. But Haruki definitely not out of this. Definitely has the potential and the necessary skills to make a comeback. Oh, very nice with punish right there from Koji. Uses the... Standing S to punish the 2D attempts from Haruki. Here we go, plus on block. Ah, gets counter hit it. Gets the juggle and one minion out. You have to hold it. Two minions out. What are you gonna do? This is party time. Very nice use of the YRC to get rid of the pressure and also of the very annoying minions. Oh my lord, let's play some soccer, man. What is this game? Is this Guilty Gear Strive? Or Guilty Gear Striker, I have no idea. Very nice 6HS into the kill for Haruki. Managed to keep the pressure going and win the match. And here we go with the 2K2D. Got the knockdown. They're trying to get Koji in the corner. Finds the, uh, what's it called? The uh, frame trap. And again, just playing soccer with with Ram Lethon. Look at the damage, actually. Holy lord. I play a soccer Guilty Gear game, too. Oh, definitely me, too. Like a, a Mario-themed, like, a, a Mario soccer-like, uh, Mario Striker? Oh. Mario Striker-like uh, Guilty Gear soccer game. That would be freaking lit. Excuse me, could you tell me the ID of player's match room? Hameyama-san. えっと、まだちょっと時間があるので、えっと、後ほど、え、掲載いたしますので、少々お待ちください。Oh wow, that wall bounce and uh, yeah, sorry, Hamiyama san, I replied to you in uh, Japanese, but you might actually be an English, um, well, uh, an English speaker. Uh, ah, okay, this, okay, this, long, eh, to, okay, masta, daijibu des, denzen daijibu des yo, arigatou gozaimasu, ya, mata ato de. And here we go with the wall break, the overdrive into the wall break. This is gonna kill good stuff from Haruki. Gets the first round of the second match, actually. Is that the second match? That might be the, the third match, actually. I'm not quite sure now that I think about it. Anyways, here we go. Whoa, with the fake uh, overhead. Well, actually, with the fake empty jump into the uh, actual overhead. Here we go with the overdrive into the wall break. He's gonna get the positive bonus and the endless, the endless pressure because I'm Lashaw. But that being said, very nicely done. Wherever Potemkin, Buster F, P, B. Thank you very much for the follow oath, unbroken, and welcome to the Brojo. And here we go with the pressure from Koji. Wants to keep Haruki in the corner. Snipes her out of the air. And this is going to be the overdrive again into the wall break. Positive bonus. And the empty jump for the kill. And again, a perfect. Was that a double perfect? It actually was. I think it was. Good stuff, Koji. Uh, leading 2-0, to zero, I think. Haruki and Dire Straits right now needs to find something. Perhaps needs to change a little bit his approach of this matchup or the way that Koji plays. He needs to find something. But here we go with the... Oh, the pressure tried to go for a shimmy right there. But Koji not... Not biting. Very nice wake up. Gold burst. And here we go with... Oh, Lord. You have to eat the minions. Stay in the corner, please. You can see Haruki really trying to keep the pressure going. And Koji popping the overdrive and actually managing to punish the... Um, the attempt of uh, Haruki to uh, put one uh, minion in the corner. This was entirely re reaction based, by the way, by Koji. This is this was definitely reaction based. That being said, here we go with Haruki using the YRC to try to get out of the corner. The double perfect, the double smurfic. And here we go, Koji on set point. What is Haruki going to do? Here the 2K2D is going to get the knockdown into the Rika. Not actually. He goes for the. Uh, corner carry with the sword throw, unfortunately badly done. Again with the Guilty Gear Striker mod right there from Jackal. 
gets the corner and the wall break into positive bonus. Very nice of the uh, guard point right there from Haruki. Unfortunately, a little bit off when it came to timing his midi right there, but it's still okay. He is going to get the uh, Illusion, Isilium driver. Uh, the, the, I forgot how it's called. Well, the overdrive into the kill, very nicely done by Haruki. And on to, again, set match. Haruki absolutely needs this match if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Nice tick throw from Koji. Forever Elysian driver. Yeah, exactly, that that that, that move right there. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the, just the, the command grab. It's gonna be easier. Anyways, here we go. Haruki unfortunately gets and tired right there. And Koji just maintaining that pressure. Unfortunately get jumped on. Counter hit it by Haruki. Very nice conversion right there from the counter hit. Unfortunately, the lasting uh, hitbox from the uh, standing S of Ramlethal made it so that she could anti-air Haruki. Very nice air to air. He's gonna get the juggle and the kill. And just like this, man, Koji takes it a clean... Okie dokie, bridge and cookie. So, on to the next battle. I mean, none other than Hameyama-san versus... I can't report, I'm literally hitting three. I'm hitting three, I'm clicking. Okay, this is strange. This is strange. Well, three, three for you, is it? Three for you or the opponent? I think your opponent needs to... You can't. Um, this is strange. You need to press the plus plus plus, put three, and then put kicka kete. Uh, okay, this is strange. Um, I'm pretty sure you should be able. <laughs> if you have Google Translate on, it won't accept info. Yeah, that's probably the reason why. Make sure you don't have the translation. Okay, yeah, that's probably one of the reasons, I guess. And here we go with DJ Hameyama, he's gonna get the juggle into the wall break and the kill. Very nicely done. <clears throat> okay, so apparently Scrub Lord was able. Okay, there is. It should be okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just hope that the... Uh, okay. Anyways, I'll do it. Well, just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna update for you guys this time around, Scrub Lord Ziga, just try to find a way to do it from next time on, because uh, it's gonna be a little bit complicated if I have to, uh, to what's it called, to verify the, the, the scores all the time. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. And here we go with the overdrive into the kill by Ekidona. Uh, actually puts one, oh, actually the first match went to, I'm pretty sure I'm Emma. Sorry, I had to, uh, check a little bit but the first round of the second match goes to ikidona san very nicely done let's see how it pans out <clears throat> and again here we go with the 2d attempts and the whiff back to the neutral oh lord okay and here we go with blue swing and the top uh, he's gonna get the corner carry very nice pickup into the corner pressure it goes low low but Hameyama-san not biting, finally gets open. Very nice mash by Hameyama-san. And the, uh, the very nice recognition that... Oh, Lord. Here we go with the... Oh, no. Unfortunately, the side switch. Was that intentional? If that was the case... Oh, okay. Kidona-san trying to bait a burst. Unfortunately, he was a little bit too high for it. Oh, no. And here we go with Hameyama-san just popping the Nasante on Wake Up. He's going to get the wall break. And... Oh, Lord. Oh, and the rose for the kill. And just like this, actually, Ikidona san putting one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful match, that is. Okay, and on to the third match. Who is going to take the lead? We shall see. Very nice empty low by Ikidona. And you can see, yeah, Ikidona trying to slow down the pace, not get hit by a, um, an unwanted Nasante, if I might say. Okay, here we go with the uh, spiral arrow. No one is at home. Ah, very nice air to air. And almost got the pickup, but 
a little bit too far for it, couldn't quite juggle. And here we go with the corner pressure of Hame Yamasan. He's gonna get the wall break. Positive bonus. Yada yada yada. You know the drill. And here we go with the tick throw and the kill by Hame Yamasan. Takes the lead. One round that is still still uh, some way to go, but it's still better than nothing. Anyways, here we go with the Nasante counter hit and the juggle following man into the wall break good stuff the uh spiral arrow for the wall break dashes straight forward to catch the back dash of ikidona san and here we go with oh lord what was that man that was crazy good and hameyama takes it with a perfect thanks to the juggle that he got off of that crazy sequence good stuff from hameyama san takes the lead two to one definitely not out of it there's definitely one more chance well actually two more chances well one more chances for uh ikido san to try to make a comeback and again with the jump in by hameyama san try to bait the burst he immediately bursts himself right after the jump in the um right after the pressure finally ikido san gets the oh finally gets pressure very nice antilo he goes for the side switch. Very nice mixes, man. I would have definitely gotten hit again with the empty low. Okay, we go the left, right, left, right. Where, which side am I blocking? You shall not know. Again with the empty low for the opening and the kill. Ikino san on point with his schmixes. Round start. Spiral arrow. Unfortunately, whiffs. And Ikino san tried to find the opening. Did get one hitted, but couldn't quite get the confirm. Very nice cross over. And the pressure from Hameyama san is relentless. We go the slide throw. And the kill. Just like this. Hameyama on the verge of taking this set. Set point, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice 2D right there from Ikidona. Gets the knockdown, but not for too long. And Hameyama san gets the Nasante counter it into the corner carry. And the wall break. Look at this. Milia's life is down 50% already. Oh, one last chance if you get hit. Ooh, okay, couldn't quite get the pickup. Oh, Lord. And gets, gets scooped by the 2D into the corner carry kill. Combo. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. America versus Singapore. Zeej gonna rip you a new butthole. <laughs> I thought it was Bridget. Nah, it's not. It's not, it's not. It's worse. <laughs> and here we go. Start of the round. Back Fukio into the Beyblade. And Z just going completely ham as he freaking loves to do. So he's gonna get the wall break with the overdrive, which spells basically a hard knockdown. What is Scrub Lord going to do? What is the okay? Okay, here we go with the wake up. Jabs from Scrub Lord Ziga, staying true to his name. He gets the over, not the overhead, the overhead RC. Try to, um, oh, okay, here we go with the Beyblade for the win. Good stuff by Zeej. On to the second match. Very nice 6 feet. Zeej gets the corner position, tries to do them. Uh, them frame traps, but Scrub Lord Ziga holding on to his burst until he does it. And here we go with the big 2HS counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Uses the RC bar to get the extension. Couldn't quite connect the far S right there. Very nice stuff from Zage using the momentum of the uh, jumping D to cut his jump short and land quicker than expected and punish the attempts of Scrub Lord Ziga to try to air and tire him. And here we go with uh, the start of the second match. First match went to Zeej. Oh lord, close S. Whips, unfortunately, thanks to the um, awareness of Scrub Lord Z Z uh, Ziga to use the I-80 to go behind Nagori Yuki, trying to enter him with the uh, close S. Catches, unfortunately, the backdash of Ziga with the 4S. And just like this gets the kill with the wall break. Very nicely done by Zeej goes up one match one round what is gonna happen here we go with the corner pressure who says that may has been nerfed well she actually did but still has 
access to a very, very impressive set of offensive power. Oh lord, and the wake up overdrive for Scrub Lords. He got not afraid. There go the two. Oh lord, again gets hit by the two HS. Very nice awareness of Zeej. Ah, catches the backdash with the. Ah, the four HS, and just like this, it's gonna. No, it's not. Thank you, Guts. Thank you, Guts. Oh, okay, here we go with. Oh lord, that was an unfortunate gold burst. And Zeej manages to take the second match as well. What is Scrub Lord going to do? We shall find out. And here we go with the start of the third match. Scrub Lord Z got trying to trying to probably analyze what Z was going for this time around. And here we go with the very unfortunate counter hit right there. Scrub Lord Z got really trying to whiff punish right there, but can't quite seem to find the correct spacing to do so. Because as you know, Z has well Z Nagoriyuki has a very impressive far reach and is this going to kill may does have a lot of guts so nah this is definitely gonna kill yeah this is it very nicely done by zeej gets the kill he is on set point is scrub lord ziga gonna manage to do a comeback we shall see push the bat start of the round is immediately cornered right away gets hit by the delayed beyblade okay, very nice jump out attempt Hits the backdash with the Totsugeki. Oh lord, and very nice. Timed grab right there from Zeej manages to catch Scrub Lord in the midst of his combo. Here we go, the Totsugeki counter hit. Ah, gets hit by the, overdra the overhead. Very nice damage, at all things considered. Goes for the reset with the fully charged dust. No! I'm sure that was a connect. No, I'm sure that was a that was an input error. That was definitely an input error. And here we go with the pressure from Sage. Takes it a clean. Uh, I can update on the fly. I am very professional in that in that uh, in that in that way. I guess. Let me update this really quick. So uh, yes, chip. Yeah, he went for chip as expected. Oh, okay, here we go. And we have uh, what's called the chip versus chip versus uh, actually Okie dokie, breads and cookie. So on to the match. Our eggs versus Takarin-san. They have played against each other a countless amount of time. Our eggs definitely having some problem. More problems probably than well, less success than Takarin-san in this matchup. He definitely has some problems fighting his footing just as i say this he finds the oh lord okay here we go oh this is yeah very nice patience right there from our ex and this awards him with the kill yes the first the first round that is good stuff and here we go the immediate jump in from our ex finds the opening and you can see takarin using the just the fan to push our ex out managed to get the burst but couldn't quite time his punish in order to get uh well more than what he actually managed to get he did get the instant overhead right there for the wall break and the kill very nicely done by takarin both opponents have one round down who is going to take the no oh, a badly timed wake up uh a badly timed grab on the wake up of takarin san that being said here we go reset the neutral very nice 2hs catches rx out of the air there we go yeah takarin definitely trying to slow the pace down he hits rx out of the air with the 2hs but the two uh the two s i'm sorry Oh, and here we go with the dust, and this should do actually good stuff from Takarin. Good conversion, good awareness, good everything as always. Takarin, the prime contender, by the way, to take today's tournament. The reason being that he took the previous two. <laughs> Takarin definitely on a winning streak these days. And here we go with the take throw from RX. Manages to keep the pressure on. Wants to keep Takarin exactly where he is. Fortunately gets hit by the... A bar is standing K from Takarin. Very nice 6 period there from RX. I actually didn't think that he would get it. Probably the reason why he... Why he kind of stuttered right there. 
That being said, here we go with the opening. Finally finds the opening. Ah, uh, couldn't quite get a 6 right there in time. Finds the opening with the red cup. Ah, uh, and gets hit by the 2S. Two, the two here we go, the side switch. Wake up, DP. Oh, no one home. And unfortunately, even gets the burst. Oh, but missed times his... Oh lord, he mistimed his command grab and just like this he dies. This is unfortunate. How are you doing, Siro-san? Welcome back. If Takanin wins again, you gotta boss battle him with your Eno. Nah, no, he's gonna win, man. I don't play nearly enough to uh, be able to beat him right now. And here we go with the wall break by RX. He's gonna get the positive bonus. But Takanin, very nice. Very nice back dash right there. Uh, tries to probably bait the DP. Okay, he gets a knockdown again. Back to... Back to zoning time. Ari's trying to find something. Trying to find a way and actually manages to find it. Doesn't use the... Ah, uh, badly timed meaty right there. And Takarin with the conversion station. Uses the RC to extend and get the kill combo. Good stuff and good awareness from Takarin. Here we go. Back with the jump in from... RX trying to keep the pressure with the Gamma Blade. Very nice whip on it right there. Tries to hit with the two S2HS. Takanin a little bit too. Uh, very nice. And here we go with the Takanin pressure. Who says that Axel doesn't have any pressure? Okay, here we go. The double jump in. And unfortunately, this is not going to do a badly timed again. Badly timed uh, command grab right there. Oh, okay, guess. Oh, almost got the kill. He's gonna get the kill. Probably. No. Ah, very nice jump back right there from Takarin. Definitely. Oh, no. This was so unfortunate. He went all in for the hey, Hail Mary. The Hail Mary Gold Burst right there. Unfortunately, Takarin on point. Definitely knowing that RX was gonna go for it. And just stays there and blocks. And gets rewarded for his patience, man. Good stuff. And look at the just blocks right there from Takarin. All of these just blocks are not random. They are definitely uh, expected by Takarin. He gets the kill with the OTG and a perfect. And just like this, we are on set point. And mind you, RX is one of the best player recently. And uh, very, very strong. I just feel that he should probably give Testament a go some more. And I, I don't know if the chip idea is playing in his favor right now but that being said here we go with the 2d the delay 2d counter hit from takarin finally gets the juggle with the command grab but rx oh no drops the combo just like this this is gonna kill good stuff from takarin takes it a clean three versus rem four let's see how this pans out <clears throat> Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie, here we go! And <laughs> immediate start of the battle, just run straight. Run straight and block. Sometimes the simplest strategy is the best. A very nice use of the 2 1 4 from Koji in the air. Gonna get the wall break using the overdrive to secure the heavy knockdown. Probably trying to time, yes. Trying to time a safe jump. Oh, okay, very nice with punish right there. Couldn't quite get the. Follow up with the sword throw. Ah, very nice to hit right there from Zeed. Uses the double full kill. Ah, gets hit by the wake up overdrive. Though, yes, you need to be careful. Koji loves them wake up overdrives. This is definitely, this has probably dealt some mental damage right here. Here we go again with the dash forward. The forward dash into block. <laughs> as long as it works, man. Here we go with the full kill into the Beyblade. Zeej trying to keep the pressure and gets it actually. Doesn't get the wall break. Here we go, the pressure again with Koji. Not afraid to just dash forward and block, man. Oh, okay, gets the very nice uh, conversion and very nice awareness right there from Koji. Ah, uh, I think he blocked. Yeah, he probably blocked. Yeah, he definitely blocked. Okay, no punish right there. Probably was still in blocks, then, I suppose. That being said, here we go, the far S. And the heavy knockdown by Koji. He gets the first. The first match. Very convincingly, actually. Now, Zeej uh, has probably some problems trying to uh, to find his way in. We shall see if he can change something from 
his current strategy to try to mix things up and very nicely done he gets two command grab in a row however koji wakes up with the gold burst and sniffs out uh button mashing right there from zed with the ram slam he even gets the fully charged up <laughs> tries to yes yeah, very nicely done delayed tries to uh probably bait the burst but yeah zed just holding on to it yucks zed. yeah this is unfortunate for him but he does have the corner yeah the corner position oh lord this is gonna hurt okay here we go with zed yeah ah uh, yeah. okay back to neutral Koji tried to get out of the corner. He actually succeeded in doing so. Is this gonna kill? Yes, it is. Good stuff from Koji. On the verge of taking the second match as well. Very nice. Uh, counter hit into the Rekka. He's gonna get the corner pressure. Ah, badly timed meeting right there. Okay, here he goes. He gets jumped in. And the Rekka for the corner carry and again koji in pushing the in the corner and just applying pressure as he should very nice grab out of the fukyo okay and he goes for the instant overhead well the instant dust actually to juggle with the sword explosions okay, he's got the corner position again with the far chest gets the grab probably trying to bait the burst or something and again with Koji making very good use of the RC to try to ah and he gets grabbed good stuff by Z. good stuff good stuff and on to the final round of the second match Zeej needs this round if he wants to put one on the board and here we go with the far S into the conversion combo with the sword throw hits the uh, big lead attempt right there into a counter hit into Calvados. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Even to Nagoriyuki, man. 40% of your life gone. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna go the corner pressure and the ram pressure. There is not much you can do. You can just hold it. Hold it. Oh no, madly timed throw attempt right there. Does get the jumping HS counter hit. But Zeech on the verge of being. Of losing this match, actually. Okay, here we go with the breakup pressure. Ah, tries to go for an instant dust, but Zeej on point even manages to to punish it. <gasps> oh lord, there's only one more. You just need one more chance. Ah, opens him up finally, and this is the end. Zeej manages to put one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen one match a piece what is Koji going to do okay here we go back to the neutral again with the 214 er, SIW it is for the opening again with the hard knockdown Koji mixing things up using the RC in ways that I haven't seen other RAM players use here go with the jump in is he trying to get out of the corner no follow up on the far chest. He does get a jump in, a very, very, very strong one at that. And the music has stopped, unfortunately. I am going to put it back on. Just wait a couple of seconds. Yomi Bukai! Duel 2. Okay, here we go. Duo 2 indeed. Here we go with the corner pressure from Z. He's gonna get the wall break. No, he didn't actually. He goes for the. Command grab, nicely done. A little bit missed time right there with the command grab. That being said, it's still okay. It's not over till it's over. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. We're back on business. Perfect. And we're going with the oh, very nicely timed. Just defend right there from the age man. Definitely on point. Okay, and here we go with the pressure. Koji gets the knockdown. He goes for the instant dust into the RC. He wants that. He wants that corner. He wants that wall break. He wants that positive bonus. That being said, Zeej just wakes up. Wake up DP. <laughs> Very nicely done. Gets the second round and on to the final match. Let's see what Zeej is going to do. 
Ah, very nice XP. Still positive. Going to try to keep Zedra in the corner again with the standing HS, uh, the standing S counter hit for the entire. Gets the wall break. He will have the positive bonus. This is the winning condition of Ram. Usually, yeah, this is gonna be hard to contest. Rigo goes for the dust again, and he's gonna get it with the Calvadal. No, no Calvadal. Yo, Akito Sabian, comment vas-tu, gros? Ça fait longtemps. And here we go. Koji putting one on the board once again. He takes the lead two to one. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. And Z just going ham. Does get the grab. Doesn't go for the command grab. And gets the 2HS, man, for the entire. Definitely eager to try to take it. Ah, unfortunately gets scooped by the 2K2D. Here we go, the uh, OTG, the double back dash from Koji in the corner. Still manages not to get hit by it. Finds the opening with the counter hit. Unfortunately, doesn't have his sword to get the extension station. So there we go, the Dower. Ah, he's gonna get uh, the corner pressure. Goes for the double jump to try to potentially bait a uh, a grab, I suppose. Je vais très très bien avec ce J'espère que toi aussi, mais tu viens de le dire, donc oui. Ça fait plaisir entendre gros. Here we go with the Calvados kill. Koji on set point on the verge of sending Zeech to the loser's bracket. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna be able to send the Singapore prowess? The Singapore uh, pride? Ah, and here we go with the, uh, the command grab. Oh lord, and the immediate Fukio into the Beyblade for the opening. Good stuff from Z. He gets the corner pressure. Ah lord, and that 6k. Oh no, OTG, but it's still okay. Gets the kill with the 4S. Z showing a sign of staying alive. Definitely does not want to be sent to the loser's bracket. Here we go with the neutral. And Zeej trying to maintain pressure once that wrist gauge to be as full as possible to get the kill as easily as possible. Still, he, oh, his blood rage definitely, definitely up there now. And gets the kill with the jumping D. Zeej staying alive, man. Final match of this set. Both players have been playing out of their minds. It's crazy. And here we go with the command grab with Zeej trying to... Squeeze in another command grab. No entire right there on the overhead. Oh lord. And here we go with Koji just waking up with the overdrive. Trying to catch something. Zij being a little bit more respectful. Even though he does have two bars of tension. He goes for the quick dust. This damage. Yeah, this is going to do a lot of damage. He's going to get the wall break into the positive bonus. Ah, no one home for one. The two HS. Very nice confirm from Koji to punish the recovery, by the way. We go with Z trying to use the back Fukio to potentially, yeah, to bait something out. But yeah, Koji not biting. Ah, oh, Lord, and look at that gauge, man. Look at that gauge. Ah, and just using Nagoriyuki's, uh, Nagoriyuki's chip chip damage that he has on his normal right there to secure the win. Very nicely done. Z on the verge of taking this match. And here we go with the close slash counter hit, man. Again. Here we go with the pressure. Koji having to ah, respect it, but doesn't respect it, actually. Which is the a nice way to enter, actually. Here we go with the recap pressure against the opening. Goes for the extension combo, probably to secure some positive bonus. That being said, Zeech is on the bridge of having two bars of tension. And two bars on Nagoriyuki is not a fun time for your adversary. So here we go back to the neutral if there's such a thing as neutral between these two characters that being said here we go zoning time trying to punish each other koji goes for the ram slam using all of his tension bar to try to secure it that being said Zeej also oh, Zeej is gonna pop this is unfortunate here we go with the kill good stuff from koji and we're going on to the last round of the last match ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, round that will determine who wins this set Let's see how this pans out. Very nice stuff by Koji gets the jumping extension combo on the counter hit. That was crazy good. And here we go with the oh the pressure, but Zeej using the six feet to get out of the pressure, uh, punishing effectively punishing the standing S of Ramlethal. 
Here we go with Koji, definitely not out of this yet. Trying to push Zeej in the corner, but Zeej, man, just pushing that. Very nice jump back right there of Koji to get out of the pressure. Could have gotten hit by the uh, far uh, S, which would have spelled death, basically. Not death, but a lot of damage. Gets hit by the Quake Dust. Is Koji going to be able to seal the deal? Not quite, unfortunately. Actually, yes, I spoke way too soon. And just like this, Koji take up today. None other than Tsuzura versus Akari. Who is going to take it? We shall see in a short while. Here we go with the jump in from... Suzura gets immediately anti-air by Takanin and pushed ever so slightly in the corner. However, you go with Suzura popping the burst. Trying to get that corner position. Ah, but Takanin <laughs> remaining ever so slippery. Right. Immediately gets out of the corner, and rightfully so. Here we go with the Rekka with the extension. It's gonna get the wall break. No overdrive to secure the hard drive the hard knockdown. Oh lord, here we go with the, again with the Forward dash into block. And Takani is pressing button. Ah, oh, gets the land in. He probably didn't believe it. Ah, oh, Lord, you hate to see that happen. And here we go with the wake up overdrive from Suzuda secures the first round just like that. With the zoning. Oh, Lord, that was crazy, man. Here we go with the rain watcher into the. Lensengeki, he's gonna get the wall splat, is he? No, not quite yet, but it's still okay. He did get the continued pressure into the perfect. What a statement from Takarin. What you can do, I can do better. Very nice entire and very nice far S counter hit into the wall break. And look at that half of your life off of one interaction. This is the power of Ram. This is the power that she was granted. <laughs> I wish Shino had the same. <laughs> That being said, here we go with... Oh, Lord, was that a punish? That was a whiff punish, eh? Lord, not a whiff punish. That was... um. Uh -uh. And here we go with, again, a D... Uh, pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did, it did. It definitely did. It went to Takarin. Okay, I think. Here we go with the Lensen Geki from Takarin. We'll try to entire Tsuzura with the close S, unfortunately. Tsuzura blocked correctly. Here we go with the, uh, with the pressure and Takani trying to get out of the corner. Very nice reaction, sending P to the uh, overhead of Tuzula right there. Here we go with the YRC and Takani finds the opening with the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Takani. Takes the first round of one round and one match. Here we go with the Len Sengeki trying to push Tuzula in the corner. Close S catches the back dash and then an, another close S for the counter hit into the kill combo. And Takarin takes it with a perfect one round. So, I'm going to use it. Okay, so they'll start, they'll start, uh, they'll start, yeah, from, from the beginning. My bad, I misunderstood. Which is perfectly fine. Like, I mean, it's a freaking connection error, so it's not really. Um... So, one more chance for Tsuzura to try to bring it back, actually two chances since he got one more round to try to take it. And here we go with the Roman cancel and just like this. Uh, actually, Takarin-san again <laughs> on set point. Hopefully we won't get a connection error this time around. Really hope so. Okay, here we go with the whiffed 2S. And he just uh, blocks, unfortunately gets counter hit it on the second hit of the, of the Rekka. However, manages to hit her out of the air with the Oh my lord, again with the trade in favor of Takarin, keeps the corner position and hits that. Uh, oh, successfully hit the. Uh, oh my lord, and that air throw though with the Lensengeki and the standing K for the punish we on. Need to zero already, but. Ah, so no, Scott. Ah, yeah, I just missed it. My bad, my bad. I ah, yeah, so sne. Yeah, 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 but Takarin san ga eto. 1試合目、1試合目をえっと優勝はしてなかったんですよね。そうですね。わかりました。了解です。えっと失礼しました。ごめんなさい。It was actually 2 to 1 uh because Tsuzura won the first match. I'm sorry. I actually thought it was Takarin who won the first match, but it's not the case. So, uh Kind Koji actually uh corrected me and said that no, it's actually 1 to 2. My bad. I'm I'm really sorry. That being said, here we go back to the match. I'm sorry you couldn't quite see the first match. 
of this uh, third round because of my uh, unprofessionalism. <laughs> and here we go with the wall break. And Koji should be able to take it with the Calvados, I think. Boom! And yes, he does. So we are going on to the final round of the final match. Hopefully we won't get a connection error. <laughs> Okay, this is the final round of the final match. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff for S counter hit for Suzura. And Takarin just walking, well, actually running straight towards Suzura and grabbing him. Good stuff. Here we go with the Hail Mary overdrive to get Takarin out of his hair. Ah, that very nice far S counter hit right there. And Suzura with the relentless pressure does get his overhead right there. Uh, inspired by the sending kick of Takarin. And again with the delayed. Oh lord. Oh lord. And here we go. The far S counter hit. Couldn't quite get the follow up. Takarin san respecting the pressure right there from Suzura. Afraid probably of eating a uh, eating an overdrive. And here we go with the Calvados. Raw Calvados. And, but it's still okay. Suzura does have a full tension bar. And this should not kill actually. Oh. Goes for the reset. Goes for the OTG. Here we go with the corner pressure. Takarin definitely needs to... Ah, and gets open with the sword throw. And just like this, Koji... Uh, not Koji, I'm sorry. Suzura on the verge. On the verge of taking it back, man. Let's see how this pans out. Are we gonna see a, uh, a Ram mirror in Grand Final? That would be pretty fucking freaking funny. And here we go with the close S pressure. Takarin has to hold it. Has to hold it. Has to hold it. Oh, okay, finally press his button right there. And successfully so. Oh my lord! And Suzura baits the... Oh no, this is gonna do actually. Suzura manages to make his way to grand final by eliminating the previous champion. Oh, I versus May. Let's see how this spins out. Now, where's May? Where is May? Ah, oh, here. And on to the first loser's match. The loser's bracket match. Let's see how this pans out. We go with the jump in from Yoshida immediately. Anti air. Anti airs. Scrub Lord Ziga. But Scrub Lord finds the opening. Yoshida waking up with DDP not respecting the Okizime of Scrub Lord. There we go with the Totsugiki round start. Not round start, actually. Post, uh, post wall break. Uh, and this should do with the ride the lightning. Uh, let me. Oh, it didn't actually. Thank you, guts. And here we go. Scrub Lord does have to. Oh, Lord, no. Couldn't quite connect the 4S right there. But it's still okay. He did get. Oh, the empty grab. And he goes for the empty jump. Tries to bait the burst. And Yoshida on the verge. On the verge of actually losing it. But wait for it. Okay. Go oh, and the. Trade in favor of Kai, well, in favor of uh, Yoshida, who, who had more health in order to tank it. Whereas Scrub Lord only had one more hit, and that, this is actually the hit that was too much. That being said, here we go with the corner position of Scrub Lord Ziga. Finds the opening with a very nice combo, corner combo right there. He's gonna get the, um, the positive bonus with the close kick, and my lord, that's 6 feet. Both opponents. Both of them are not using their their their, their burst. It's so funny. Okay, here we go. Yoshida keeping his burst rightfully so actually for the start of the uh, third round. Oh, and that was a big big wall bounce right here. Okay, here we go. You can you you can see Yoshida using the four HS to um well to hit and get a counter hit off of Scrub Lord. Very nice wall break. Okay, here we go. The cross under was just very good. Go with the stun dipper goes for a quick dust for the kit. Ah, uh, but unfortunately, Scrub Lord actually manages to not get hit by it. Oh lord, and gets chipped out. Unfortunately for Scrub Lord. Still, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. One match. I'm sorry. This is not what I want to do. Wait. Just one second, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And here we go with Yoshida. No, what am I doing? Here we go. One round for Yoshida. <laughs> my yeah, my hardware is going completely crazy. And here we go with the jump in by Scrub Lord. Definitely not happy of having lost that first match. Oh lord! And Yoshida just letting the DP rip, man. Not respecting the 
uh, pressure of Scrambler finds the opening with the uh, juggle of the uh, what's called the uh, stun dipper, and you see that bat with the pressure. Oh, no one home. Very nice XP. I couldn't quite get the follow up, but still okay. We go with Scrub Lord, and again with the wake up DP, man. Scrub Lord just uh, not Scrub Lord. Yoshida just going ham with the DPs and finding the opening and getting the momentum back every single time. Good stuff. Oh, and that start of the round 6B, man. The cojones on that man. And here we go with the side switch. Unintentional side switch, I suppose. We go with the... Ah, jump in for a little bit too far for Yoshida to 6B it. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the Totsugeki pressure. And Scrubler is going to get some decent damage right there. Couldn't quite get the wall break, but it's still okay. He's going to get the wall break right there with a fully short. Ah, 6 feet, not enough to kill. Scamdipa! <laughs> exactly. How you doing, Sensei? I hope you're doing fine, man. And <laughs> the legends are true. If you pop the dragon in Solar Sky, you will lose the round. <laughs> Scrubler taking it. Okay, Mash uh, manages to uh, catch the backdash with the 2S. Again, with the 2S pressure, man, trying to keep Yoshida in the corner. And thank you for the uh, the sub, uh, Exxon. Really, really appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing really good. Hope your biking is doing really good as well. And here we go with the overhead by Scrub Lord. Finds the opening with the, uh, the Totsugeki. Gets the wall bounce into the kill combo. Good stuff from Scrub Lord takes the second match and we have a match ladies and gentlemen one match a piece doing well and you're playing Andre for fun <laughs> this is pretty funny indeed i'm trying my hands out uh, with uh, leo actually these days and i actually like the character a lot character canceling fuji <laughs> fuji top fairy is hilarious i can understand it i can i can understand it yeah Andre seems fun to play well except if you uh, except if uh you're too based on like wanting to win I suppose, but if you're just playing for fun, yeah, Anji seems really fun to play, I think. But yeah, I'm trying my head to my hand to uh, Leo, and I actually like the character a lot. But that being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Yoshida, trying to maintain it and get the killing combo. He definitely wants the second round and finds the opening with the stun dipper into Roman. Cancel takes the lead with one round. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, and that just block from Scrub Lord. A level 6500 won against a level 1500 Zato. Nice stuff, man. That's good. Very nice. That's really good. And here, yeah, I really, I, I want to, I want to branch out from Eno a bit, like try it by hands to other characters as well, because I just feel like this is the best way to actually enjoy the game. Like try different characters and not just stick. Ah, here we go. Are the legends going to be true? Is the dragon install curse going to work? Again, yet again. No entire. Oh, very nice cross under right there from Yoshida. Okay, tries to probably bait the uh, overdrive, gets hit by the 2S. Okay, no punish on the late Totsugeki. Still, okay, he gets a knockdown. Ah, goes for the quick dust. Tries to. Yeah, tries to bait the uh, the burst. Ah, get, catch it. Oh, Lord. Scrabbler out of the air with the stun dipper. Oh lord, and the direct light, he could have Roman cancelled it and get the win. Oh, and that stun there for for the kill. And Yoshida takes the lead. 2-1, to one. what is Scrub Lord going to do? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Okay, just one second, guys, let me check real quick. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, and on with the third, well, the fourth match, actually, of this set. Scrub Lord gets his backdash caught by the Stun Dipper, the, the I'm sorry, the Fudra Dark. The actual purpose of VI now is to uh, kill with chip damage. Look at the chips. Yeah, it is, man. It is. Oh, it is. It is. It, it does. It does make sense. You're right, especially since he hits twice on every single one of his uh, his uh, special moves. I think, well, more or less, and even more with his uh, his his uh, fireball. So yeah, it, it it definitely makes sense. It does make sense. That being said, here we go. Thrice even, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy when you think about it. Okay, thrice. That's pretty crazy. That being said, here we go with the 6 before the kill. And Yoshida on the verge of getting this win for... Oh, the set. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice conversion. Couldn't quite get the uh, juggle in the corner, but it's still okay. He gets the knockdown. 
Scrub Lord Ziga. Oh, Scrub Lord Ziga definitely on his last legs. Oh, no, gets his burst baited. This is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, last chance from Scrub Lord. Ah, oh, and gets hit, unfortunately. And here we go with the perfect from Yoshida takes it. Let's see how this pans out. Damn, okay, we don't have a lot of Lewis's. Uh, well, actually, we did have uh, Lewis participate previously, and he had a very nice run. That being said, here we go, finally, we can see our X's Testament. And uh, yes, because previously he has been playing against, uh, what's his name? Um, against uh, Takarin, and he usually plays Chip against Takarin. That being said, here we go. Let me uh, update you this real quick. And we shall resume the commentates. Commentaries, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go with RX in the corner. So RX versus Dickinson. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw RX where I heard RX say that it is entirely a matchup in favor of Testament. There's nearly nothing that Dickinson can do in this matchup. Except throw the mine, of course. The mine. The anti-neutral. <laughs> here we go with the jump and dude and the jump D. And just like this, actually, you can see uh you can see Pseudo Maiden making his way ever so slightly back in the match. And here we go with the mine yet again. And RX just harassing, harassing Pseudo Maiden with Arbiter Sign, man. And is definitely doing a number on him. So on to the second match of this set. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go, the 6 HS counter hit into the juggle. And look at the damage, even on Gold Lewis, that's actually quite the amount of damage. Okay, here we go, the Arbiter, man, the Arbiter. You have to Arbit it. Here we go, you see Tesman using, well, Arx using the teleportation to go uh, above and beyond the mine in order not to get hit by the pressure. Almost got the kill with the wall splat. Okay, again. Ah, okay, you can see the Samurai not using the teleport. And here we go with the standing S and the perfect for the kill. RX up one. So I think I think Suzuki Maiden is going to give uh, or not. Okay, well. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, well, anyways, here we go with uh, the uh, pressure from RX, really trying to get... Uh, okay, God, got the air-to-air -air in favor of Suzuki Maiden. Oh, Lord, a little bit too far to get the grab. Oh, and the confirm into the kill for Suzuki Maiden. Good stuff. Takes the first round of this uh, second match, hopefully. I hope it's the second match, though. It might be the, the third match, though, since uh, I'm not quite sure whether they agreed to... Well, anyway, it's okay. Now, again, here we go with the zoning pressure from RX, trying to push Suzuki Maiden ever so slightly in the corner and using the Arbiter to zone again with the Arbiter, again with the Arbiter, man. You can see, look at this, man. Ah, good jumping D right there from Suzuki Maiden gets the... Oh, Lord and Dear to air again from Suzuki Maiden. Ah, find the opening into the mine. Again with the Behemoth, a little bit too far. Dust punish the punish attempt, actually. Using the RC to make it safe. Oh, Lord. Can go back to zoning game. You have to orbit through it. Very nice pickup right there using the... Oh, the mine, actually. Oh, he's going to get the hard knockdown. Probably doesn't want to get hit by the burst. That's the reason why he's being so cautious. Of... Oh no, and that's 6P, man. And the Arbiter for the kill. So, let's see. So, I don't really know if it's going to be match point or if it's just going to be... Uh, we'll see. If, if RX wins this one and they still go on for a second match, that means that it's, it's, it's over. So, we'll see. Anyways, and here goes the Arbiter. Suzumi Maiden trying to make his jump in. Ah, here we go with the crow. And he gets the stain juggle into more pressure using the Arbiter to zone. Too far for the Behemoth. Here we go. Ah, got his teleport baited and this time around. RX forced. Yeah, forced to. Oh, Lord. Uses the immediate. The Karasment, I call it. 
the crow into RC cancel into teleport into pressure. That was really, really good. Ah, and here you go. He gets the whiff punish actually, but Suda Maiden did have one burst to get out of it. Good stuff. Here we go. Okay, no punish on the jumping beat. Then again, it's extremely hard to get it consistently. And here we go with the skull. You have to hold it and the grab for the kill. So let's see. I don't know if uh, both opponents are going to end it here. Oh, they are not actually. Okay, so okay, okay. So we we are actually two to uh, zero right now. Okay, so Suzuna Maiden again on the ground. Oh lord. And the pressure is back. RX has to hold it, but just freaking runs forward at the 6P. This is crazy, man. The 6P of Testament is really, really good, actually. Probably on par with, uh, even better than uh, Zato's, actually. And here we go with the jump out. RX back to the zoning game, but actually just not completely relying on it exclusively right now. Alternating between both <laughs> when necessary. Here we go with uh, the uh, the mine. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the arbiter, but RX forced to press uh, the burst button again with the arbiter, preventing Suzu Maiden from pressing any type of buttons. Man, he presses one, he gets arbitered. Man, it's crazy. Good stuff. Here we go potentially set point right there for RX. He's got the same state. Okay, good stuff. But unfortunately, gets scooped by the mine on his back aerial dash. Oh, and here we go. You have to hold on the pressure. Here we go with the behemoth. Oh, Lord, gets hit by the far behemoth. And this is probably checkmate situation. Ah, I guess hit by D2K, unfortunately. Good stuff from. Uh, yeah, good stuff from. Suzume Maiden. And here we go with. Ah, again with the behemoth. Oh lord, very nice back dash for there. Not to get hit by the behemoth. And the pressure from Rx is real. You have to hold it, you have to hold it. Here we go for Skull again with the... This time around, Suzuna Maiden. Oh, correctly blocks the... Oh no, the Arbiter, but unfortunately both unfortunate. One for Rx not being able to uh, punish the... Uh, the failed burst on time and the other one for Suzuru Maiden uh, well actually uh, popping the burst out in the first place uh, he's gonna get hit by the oh lord again with that wonderful setup he gets the grab this is potentially the last sequence okay you can see RX holding on to his tension oh no but he gets jumped in by the 2D by the jumping beat good stuff from Suzuru Maiden staying alive putting one on the board Let's see how this spans out. Good stuff from both players though. Let's see how this comes out. So we're going with the jump in yet again from RX, trying to use the Arbiter to zone. Oh, but Suzuru Maiden too far to, to get to hit RX out of the air. Here we go with the pressure, it's ongoing, you have to hold it. RX gets the, uh, got the dust into the stained state into the Nusgrovia. He's gonna get the wall break with this, an added stained state on it. Oh, tried to go for an empty low. Uh, uh, an empty grab, I'm sorry. Okay, good stuff from RX. Still got out of the uh, the pressure, but got, gets put back immediately into it. Gets hit by a raw behemoth and straight back in the corner where you were. Again, using that really nice setup. The Karasmento setup and the juggle for the kill. RX up one. Well, two matches and one round. Suzu Maiden desperately needs two rounds in a row if he wants to send the loser. Well, if he wants to send the, the, the tournament, actually. Here we go with the Arbiter. No one's home, though. RX taking some risks right there to uh, try to throw fireballs in the air while a mine was waiting for him on the ground below. Very nice bag dash right there to not get hit by the, uh, the, um, the Behemoth. Okay, back to neutral. Using the stained state with the teleport in order to uh, extend the pressure. Very nice confirm right there with punish station into the... No, the corner pressure. Here we go, no arbiter. Here we go, maintain the pressure. Oh, almost got the whip punch. That would be crazy. Oh, he got 
B, Shimmy. Oh no, misses. Ah, uh, but it's still okay. He still gets the kill in. Got it, I guess. Okay, here we go. This is the second match of the losers bracket. We have uh, three other matches from losers bracket to go to before we go back to the grand final. Not the grand final. The lose the the winners final. That being said, here we go. Start of the round, and Yoshida already in the pressure of Axel having to hold it and being pushed ever so slightly in the corner. Here we go with the six P correctly blocked by Takanin. That doesn't waste time and just run up straight to grab this. Who's the Kai player here? <laughs> Who's the Kai player, sir? Here we go, finally. Takani forced to pop the burst. Uses the snail to get the juggle and almost got the juggle into the command grab, but it's still okay. He gets the kill with the 2H. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the start of the round of the Lensengeki. Takani trying to push Yoshida in the corner. Unfortunately, the air sequence was in favor of Yoshida. He definitely gets the. Uh, counter hit right there. He decides to go with more pressure right there than getting a extension combo into a wall break. It's still understandable. He gets the stun dipper. Counter hit makes it safe. Uh, not counter hit. Uh, Roman cancels it and makes it safe. Take okay, it with the lens and geek. You have to hold it. Very nice air back. Uh, back air right there from Takari. And gets hit though by Yoshida into the direct left for the kill. Nicely done. Yoshida puts one round on the board and you can see the double bag dash from Takani right at the start of the round. It was the direct line. Nope, you don't. And the snail for the extension, well, for the combo actually. He even managed to put one command grab in. Oh my lord, the 4S counter. That, oh, a little bit too late to get the world. This is uncharacteristic of Takani actually. But yeah, you know, sometimes stuff happens. Oh lord, and here we go. The immediate burst from Takani. Try to get the juggle with the air to air. Oh my lord. And Takani definitely smelling that Yoshida was wanting to take it to the air. Immediately goes and join him in the air to, uh, well, to, to punish him actually. And here we go with the rainwater start of the round. Big 2 HS counter hit right there from Takani. Okay, uh... Had to commit to the 2HS with the recovery that is very long. Yoshida could actually jump and, well, land on him. And here we go, Yoshida. We're trying to find the openings, man, but it's so hard to open Takarin. Ah, unfortunately, gets the burst baited, and this is a special team from Takarin. If you, you better be 100% sure uh, when you're pressing burst against Takarin, because if Takarin has bars, he's definitely gonna try to bait it from you. He's been doing this setup so many times. Anytime, very nice punish from Takarin. Gets the dust yet again. With the direct flat. Wow, that backdash on the throw attempt from Yoshida. That was really good. Get to air in favor of Yoshida. Pushes Takarin in the corner. Okay, committed to the snail, but did have some tension bar to make it safe. Here we go, the stun dipper goes for the extension station. Doesn't go to try to make the burst, unfortunately for him. Here we go, the lensing Nikki, you have to hold it. Too, yeah, too far to get anything really going. And just like this, Takarin up 2-2-0. Two, two, Is this going to be a 3-2-0? We shall see. Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> just run up grab. I, I, I'm telling you, man. Who's the Kypler in there? <laughs> run up grab. There we go, the stun edge. You can see, like, Takarin just remaining extremely slippery. Just running and crossing under to the other side of the screen, just annoying his opponent so much. It's working, man. It's definitely working. You can, you can more or less feel the frustration right there. Ah, from Yoshida. Ah, and that confirmed into the world. Okay, he's gonna get the Axel Bomber and to the final close S counter. Well, close S uh, wall break right there for the kill. Good stuff from Takarin on the edge of taking this set, actually. We go with the Brainwater. No, oh, and here we go with Yoshida. Committing to the... Foudre uh, de... Foudre... Foudre d'arc, I'm sorry. And here we go with the Brainwater. Positive on block. Be careful if you block it. Ah, and that big 2HS counter. The 2HS confirm right there from Takarin. 
Okay, here we go. The 2k counter hit, 2k into 2s, uh, 2 to the and Yoshida should be able to take it with the wall splat. Good stuff from Yoshida. Staying alive. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and that jumping is gonna hurt so much. Takarin is definitely not one to forgive. And definitely not one to not capitalize on any opportunity that's given to him. Very nice 4S right there to catch the backdash his attempt from Takarin. Yeah, you can feel Yoshida's frustration a little bit, man. Oh, and again, again, again with the dust counter, the, the dust punish, man. Not enough to kill. Definitely close enough to do so. Very nice wake up DP right there from Yoshida, but it gets killed by the 2K. Abare from American. I'm sorry. I did it. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's not the good flag. <laughs> Why did I forget the American flag? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me give Singapore back to Singapore. And here we go, so Zid from Singapore against RX from Japan. Let's see how this pans out. And just start of the round, Zid already having RX in the corner. Very nice 6P, but RX didn't take the bait, didn't commit to any aerial button. Oh lord, and here we go, the jump in, man. Oh, with the close S to catch the back dash, and this is gonna be it. <laughs> lord. Good lord, <laughs> the damage on this character, that's so crazy. Good stuff from Zeech though. Oh, an immediate start of the round with the DP man. And oh, RX really with them. Kohon is just backdashing in the corner, man. Right against Nagoriyuki. Gets hit by the Karasmento though. A very nice 6P. Zeech on point. Is it gonna. Oh no, too, too high for. No, this is unfortunate. You can see. Oh lord, is that gonna. Oh, Zeej just com just committing to the kill. Just committing, just committing. Well, it's understandable. So both players have their burst right now. Here we go. Oh, Lord! Okay, here we go back to the neutral. No 6 spirit right there. Uncharacteristic uh, from RX, actually. Oh, my Lord. Using his, using the bait blade to go right underneath the Karasman, though, man. That was crazy. Good stuff. Yo, how you doing, General Matsumoto? Welcome to the Burrow Yo, Infiltration! Oh my lord, thank you for the raid! Infiltration Senpai, man! The god of Street Fighter 4 with Akuma in the house, y'all just raided my channel. I'm very, very happy. Thanks, man. How are you doing, Infiltration? I hope you had a very nice stream, man. And I hope you, you've been grinding the, uh, the Zato recently, man. Exactly, that's good, man. Really, really appreciate it. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Bro Drill Cup, guys. This is the... Oh, you were definitely one of the best. You were definitely one of the best. Like, we can... I, I think it's safe to say that you were definitely one of the best. Yeah, Bezato. You know what? Infiltration, I really want you to... I really want to see you play against... Uh, against... Um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, damn it. I forgot. Uh, Latif. I want to see a match against Latif, man. Your Zato versus his Zato. I'm really, really wanting to see it. But that being said, thanks for the raid, really appreciate it. Uh, definitely looking forward to meet you in person during the uh, Arc Revel. I think you're probably coming. Well, if if it's not the Arc Revel, you're probably going to see you during EVO. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it, man. That being said, here we go. Welcome, guys. This is the Brojo Cup, so a weekly online tournament which takes place in Japan. I am the host, SDN Klein, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. I can... Uh, I can respond to you in English, French, or Japanese. You choose it, I speak it. Well, only these three. That is not something else. Anyways, back to the match. And uh, RX actually managed to take the first match, if I'm correct. And RX immediately using his setup right there. Just sending the crow and immediately teleporting. And RC, actually, RC and then teleporting to keep the pressure going. That being said, Zeej is no stranger to pressure. Already has RX in the corner. And yeah, here we go, Nagoriyuki going. Very Nagoriyuki right there. I have a question, when's the winter patch? Is it soon? I do not know, I don't work for, <laughs> I do not work for Arc System, so I cannot answer this question. But my own, my, my, uh, my, okay. So my, uh, I suppose, I suppose that they'll, uh, they'll just, um, make the announcement right after Arc Revo. I think they'll make the announcement right after the uh, the top 8 of Arc Revo. At that, and Arc Revo is in like what, one one month I think, probably? I think, that that's my uh, 
That's my hypothesis, hypothesis, I guess. Because Arc Revo is the next, like, big tournament that's going to take place, so I suppose that Arc Sis is waiting for the top 8 of Arc Revo to, uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty spot on. Yeah, I think so. I, I think so, yeah. Because there's no other, like, big tournament in, uh, like, in the in in a short while like the, the closest one is probably our real you have ufa also i think winter patch was scheduled for december yeah yeah so so yes i think it's gonna be during uh Arc Revo. they'll announce it at arc Revo and like it'll be available in like the coming week i guess this is my this is what i i i suppose yeah that would be horrible man how come on now nah, that would be horrible that would be very 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 not nice of uh of our system to do this <laughs> But then again, if they buff, you know, I don't, I, it doesn't, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, please do so if you buff, you know, right before Arc Revo. No problem, do it. <laughs> that would be, I would be totally down for it. That being said, here we go with Z, just for three. Did a very nice burst. Japanese players would, yeah, they would be pretty mad, I guess, probably. But yeah, it is what it is, man. No, I think, yeah, I, I suppose that the, uh, the winter patch will come out like a couple of weeks, if not like the week right after Arc Revo. You know, got 10 guts and 2 guitars now, perfect. And, uh, and a shotgun as well. That would be awesome, just to... Um, just to fight against uh, Happy Chaos, that would be cool. Okay, that being said, here we go with Zeej bringing in the heat. Definitely struggling right here against... Um, Testament, well, against RF... Uh, RX, I'm sorry. We go with the... Oh, the Beyblade for the... Pressure, but what cost for story mode Nago? <laughs> but the cost for story mode Nago, I don't know. Imagine they make it so that Nago, the pure Nago, became, becomes as buffed as story mode Nago. That would be freaking crazy bad. I would hate this so much. Okay, here we go with the close S to catch a bag dash attempt from RX. That being said, RX on match point right now. This seems a little bit bleak for, oh, for Zeej. He didn't get hit by the... Uh, RX setup right there, but does manage to find the opening with the oh the Fukio into the 2S. But that being said, here we go with RX gets the kill with the OTG and takes it a clean three to nil. Okay, so RX did get good stuff. Right. What the hell? The uh, yeah. RX. Okay, and that being said, start prediction. Here we go. We're good. So, Takarin versus Rx. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Oh, okay. This time around, uh, Rx actually resorting to using uh, Testament this time around. Let's see how this pans out. Maybe there might be like a better, a better resort for him. We shall see. Okay, here we go with. Uh... Ah, the pressure is nuts these days. It is, man. Testament is really grown. Yeah, she has. They have. They have. Staying last after wall break and curse. And when they gonna let you rope stay on the <laughs> after? Oh hell no, hell no! That would be freaking horrible. I hate Kabar so freaking much. We go with the far S counter hit from RX. A very nice recognition that it counter hit. By the way, oh almost got the jump in, but it's still okay. He got the empty low. Goes for the safe jump. Tries to keep the pressure in. Here we go with the stained, and unfortunately the jump back. Uh, H. For the kill by Takarin San up one round. Let's see how this pans out. Okay. Rx gets the oh the knockdown. Oh gets the close S. And we'll get the wall break into this meant so hard to beat Azato. She is. They are, they are, they definitely are, man. I can definitely understand. I can feel how it, it might be problematic for Zato to defeat her. But uh, yeah, Testament is like, I feel like they're like the perfectly balanced character. I feel like it's, they're not like too strong and not too weak. They have exactly everything that they need in their, in their, uh, in their kits, I feel. Whereas other characters such as, for example, uh, Nagoriyuki or Happy Chaos are way too strong right now, I feel. But I feel like Testament is really in a very good spot. Like they shouldn't nerf her, they shouldn't buff her. Uh, them, I'm sorry. Uh, because like if they buff them they might become like super freaking good and if they nerf her they might become like irrelevant at uh, not relevant anymore that being said here we go with Hakarin taking the first match very nicely done let's see if RX can change the tide of war gets the Arbiter in another Arbiter trying to keep Takarin in the corner 
Very nice to HS again with the oh the orbiter finding uh finding an angle right there. Air to air right there in our in uh, in um well in favor of Takarin, but Arx not pressing any button just in case. Okay, here we go with the Karasu. Oh, and the oh my lord, the run up from Takarin. Always on point on the IDs attempts from people to try to jump on him. He gets the the world. He gets the Axel Bomber. Is he gonna get the yeah the conversion station? Is that no not enough to wall splat? Here we go with the Axel pressure. Ah, and the standing P for the kill. Good stuff by Takarin. And on to the second round. Whew. Empty jump, no one to home. Oh, uses the TP, but man, Takarin such on point as soon as Rx went for the teleportation. It was already, already uh, punishing him. It's crazy. Okay, here we go with the quick dust. RC in order to get, oh lord, and the conversion station, man. Takarin so good on this, man. Very nice use of the 6p2, punish the uh, standing p attempt, and just like this, Takarin enters with the 2hs counter hit, gets the juggle and the corner carry. No jump in, this is unfortunate. There we go, Rx popping the Roman cancel, the, uh, well, to uh, extending the uh, the pressure with the Roman cancel. He gets the burst bait, and he's gonna get the Nostrovia. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of freaking damage, by the way. Look at this. Boom! Eat this! Good stuff by Rx. He's gonna get the jump in. Ooh, no one's home. Okay, uh, still get a little bit of pressure. Let's go, RX. Lots of people cheering for RX, and I'm really happy to see this because uh, I can see that RX is probably a crowd favorite because he's playing like Testament so good. It's such a pleasure to see him play. Not to say that Takarin is not enjoyable to watch, but this RX is so fun to Ah, uh, we get a connection error. Sorry. We're going. Okay, good. We are in. This is one part of the battle. <laughs> Both just jumping, jumping around each other. That was pretty funny. Okay, here we go. The Len Sengeki trying to push RX in the corner. Very nice juggle right there from Takarin. Ah, and the take pressure right there from RX. Just waiting a little bit before popping the 2k2. E. Speaking of popping, you can see Takarin already popped his own burst. Ah, and he's got the overhead for the wall break. Good stuff by Takarin. Okay, here we go. The pressure. Oh lord! Good to HS. And just like this, Takarin on set point. Who is going to take it? We shall see. RX definitely in dire straits. Oh lord, that 6p man. Was so good. Very nice conversion using the TP to extend uh, the the uh, the skull hit that he actually managed to deal on Takarin. That being said, here we go. Oh, the far S counter hit in favor of Takarin. Goes for the fake cross up. Uh, oh lord, and here we go, the, the, the Rotten Strobe, is this gonna hit? Oh, and Takarin just using the Roman Cancel to cancel his current action. <gasps> he gets jumped in, he's gonna get... Yes, he's gonna get the super... Um, how do you call this attack? The super uh, Arbiter. I'm gonna call it the super Arbiter. Takarin is uh, Axel is goaded, he is, man. He is the best Axel in Japan, man. Okay, here we go, no close S for you, sir. Calamity one, yeah, I'm gonna call it super super arbiter. <laughs> and here we go with the deep uh, the pressure from RX man. Uh, trying to pop that for S find something, but it's really hard because Takani. Oh lord! Here we go! Oh lord, here we go, man! My super is better than yours! <laughs> Oh, can you? Oh, Lord, and the tick pressure and Takarin just committing to dying. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Just committing to the L. Super underside. No, it's super arbiter. <laughs> it's super arbiter. Okay, and anyways, here we go. Deadwood burst. Yeah, man. I think he just gave it up. Yeah. He's like, ah, uh, F it. He's, he's probably gonna try to bait it, anyways. I think he, he thought that Rx was gonna try to bait it, and he. Committed to like uh, to to not getting baited, I guess. Yeah, he tried. He tried. Now I think he really tried to to. He thought that RX was gonna try to bait it. I, I think I'm not quite sure. I cannot warn. Uh, that being said, here we go with the neutral pressure and Takarin jumping like a rabbit, man. Here we go. Oh, and RX using that really sweet setup right there, just throwing the Karasu and at the same time Roman canceling and TPing at the same time. Which makes it so that the Karasu... That, uh, Karasu is Crow, by the way, I keep saying Karasu. <laughs> Which makes it so that Karasu... That the Crow... 
uh, hits the opponent before the opponent has the time to punish your teleportation attempt. And you also get free pressure because the opponent will be staying on when, when you finish teleporting uh, right next to them. So it's a very, very strong setup. You do need uh, at least, well, you do need one bar of tension though, so it's uh, not as free as what it seems. It's very strong. Okay, here we go. I think that uh, our ex thought that Takari had some burst right there, which is the reason why he uh, didn't extend the corner in the jungle. Very nice stuff from our ex. Seems like he found stuff out, man. Currently, nah, he's not in lead, but he uh, it, it is a set point though. So if Takari takes this one, it's bye bye our ex. But definitely not in a bad pressure, man. Reverse three zero. That would be pretty sweet, man. That would be pretty hype. But if it's our ex, it's not impossible actually. RX's uh, testament is crazy good now. It's a pleasure to see. Here we go, the pressure, man. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. You have to hold the pressure. Here we go, the grab. RX, man. Here we go, the pressure. You have to hold it. Again with the grab, man. You're grabbing too much. Yeah, you're being too passive. Here we go, the Arbiter. Oh, no, 6P. Too far. I don't agree, but... Oh lord, that was so unfortunate! <laughs> that was a very strange burst. That was a very strange burst and goes low. And just like this, RX brings it back 2-2, two to two, man. Holy freaking lord, the hype is real. Is RX finally going to be able to bring it back? Finally going to be able to... He's finally going to be able to defeat... Oh my lord, what the hell was that? Start of the round with charged dust. That was crazy, man. No, my point. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. Please! <laughs> That'd be funny though if RX makes the comeback, I'm not gonna lie. We can here go the far S, but you can see that Takanin has definitely like... Yeah, has a... Uh, yeah, he's unleashed the beast. He's uh, opened the wall, uh, he's opened the chakra doors right there. Oh lord, here we go the... the here we go with the knockdown. Oh, and again with Takanin getting the uh, conversion with the 2k 2d counter hit. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Here we go with the pressure arbiter to get the knockdown. No entire right there. Very nice 6p, man. The 6p of Testament is golded. Ah, oh, freak. Oh, didn't get hit by the. Oh, Lord. And that arbiter to punish recovery of the. Oh, Lord. And the 6p, man. Oh. It's going down to the wire. Final round of the final match. I couldn't have expected. Different from these two very out of the ordinary players. Here we go with the Arbiter, man. RX wants his revenge, man. He wants it. He wants his revenge, man. He wants his revenge. Oh, and the big two HS counter. This is very bad. <gasps> Hops the burst just to keep the corner position. He gets grabbed out of the... No, this is so unfortunate. But very nice back dash right there from RX. We are going down to the wire. No R... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my freaking Lord and RX just takes it by the skin of his teeth, man. That was Ram a lethal mirror. Let's see how this spins out. Ram lethal. I didn't predict because I knew. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's the that's the only correct answer to say in that particular instance. And here we go with the corner pressure and my Lord Cozy on point. On point, you do not jump on me like this, sir. Oh! Nice burst. No punish on it, unfortunately. This is really unfortunate, by the way. Here we go with the corner pressure this time around. Suzura has things going. Koji has not been pressing a lot of buttons. Not by choice, that is. And here we go with... Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, Okizeme 2HS counter. Uh, 2HS. This is crazy. And here we go with Timko. Timko in the house, y'all. The best uh, Giovanna... From Taiwan, how are you doing, sir? My mate, Ram Mirror, see you in loser's final. <laughs> exactly, no problem, no problem. And here we go with the wall break from uh, Tsuzura on the verge of actually taking it. Fine, fine today, that's good to hear. We go very nice 6p. Entire right there from Tsuzura takes the first round, actually. Oh, okay, here we go with the four slash. Very nice confirm right there from Koji. Definitely taking things very slow. You can see that, uh, un unlike Tsuzura, Koji tends to play a little bit more reserved, I feel. It's probably not working in his favor right now, but uh, it might, actually, in the long run. I am... I, I actually do, do not know. I'm not qualified to make any judgment on that particular <laughs> statement. That being said, here we go with the Kalbados. Oh, Lord! Goes with the... <laughs> goes with the Roman cancel for the extension station and the kill. And just like this, Tsuzura is up one 
match to zero. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay, here we go with the far slash. Koji finally, finally putting that that feet on the axle pedal, man. Very nice stuff. He's gonna get the wall break. And here we go with the Calvados. Gonna get a lot of damage right there. Kaboom! Look at that damage there. Look at it. So crazy. That was a lot of damage, man. Not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with the jump in. Very nice bag dash, man. To not get hit by the save drum. Good stuff. Okay, and here we go with the uh, second round of this uh, second match. A very nice a sword throw from Suzura. He's gonna get the. Um, well, the, the corner combo. Mm, very nice far ace as well. Oh lord, got hit by the second hit of the Rekai. He can get the extension and he's going to get it with Calvados. And Tsuzura just puts one round on the board as well. Definitely not gonna be uh, free at all. Okay, no entire red there. A uh, whole entire that is. Okay, here we go, Koji uh, in the corner, forced to pop the burst. That being said, Tsuzura, yeah, oh, Tsuzura with the immaculate spacing, man. No, oh, okay, that was a strange drop, but it's still okay. Thanks to this, uh, thanks to this, oh, finally Koji made it out of the corner, but unfortunately it gets scooped by Tsuzura, and just like this, man. Just like this, Tsuzura up 2-0. to zero. Koji definitely needs to change something in his current gameplay in order to find something and change the momentum. Here with the jump in HS. Okay, nice. Nice challenge right there from Koji, but again gets scooped by the far S counter hit, man. Ah, very nice whiff on it. That was crazy good. <laughs> Tsuzura, not afraid to just run up straight to you and press buttons, man. Okay, you go. Ah, this around using the close S to catch the back dash attempt into Calvados, and this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Kozi. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we go. Set point right there for Tsuzura. Koji needs some sort of miracle. Here we go with Tsuzura stopping right after the second hit of the. Oh, Lord. Of the Rekka to uh, get some. Oh, the pressure, man. And here we go with the overdrive, nice confirm, and this is potentially the final chance for Koji, and this is gonna be, yeah, this is this is gonna be hard, man. That's what she said. And the Reka chip kill for the kill, and the perfect, by the way, Tsuzuria versus RX. Okay, just one second. Here we go. Uh, let me update that there. Ramathal versus, yeah. Versus, uh, just... Again, here we go with the immediate burst popped by RX to get out of pressure, my lord, and just using Arbiter over and over, man. As long as it works, why change it? Here we go. Ah, uh, nope. Very nice maneuvering from Koji to get out of the corner. Let's go, RX. Exactly as you should. RX getting a lot of love. Wow, almost got the extension station combo. Couldn't quite get it for the kill. Here we go with the Rekka man and RX using the uh, the instant block to push Koji away, man. Here we go with ah and Koji finding the opening, man. Is that gonna be enough? Is that gonna be enough? This is gonna be enough. This is definitely gonna be enough. Oh my lo good lord! <laughs> ah, the freaking damage of this character is freaking crazy. Okay, here we go with the delayed, the delayed, uh, delayed. Oh. Yeah, that being said, here we go with RX getting the knockdown. He's gonna get the grab. Definitely not happy of having been killed in two two hits like previously. <laughs> that being said, here we go. He is back on track, baby. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, catches back dash with the 2k. Oh lord. And here we go. The pressure is gonna get the juggle. Yes, he will into the. Super Arbiter. <laughs> I like the Super Arbiter. Okay, so this time around, RX managed to take one round back. Forced to burst though at the start of the second round of this third round. Woo! Catches the IAD attempt from Koji using the aerial skull. And here we go with the corner pressure. Uh, Koji having, yeah, full tension bar. You hate to see it. Yeah, no follow-up right there from RX, probably fearing that uh, Koji was gonna 
pop the overdrive and here we go with our X manages to find the extension station using the Arbiter with the stained state Ah, uh, no 6p right there. Oh lord! Okay, finally, our X finds the opening by backdashing on a throw attempt and just punishing the recovery. One mat, one round up for our X. Good stuff for him. Let's see if he can make it. That would be pretty sweet, man. I think if he wins, that would be his first win. Ah, uh, no, his second actually. I think our X already won one project up until now. Anyways, here we go with the pressure. The corner pressure is real. Very nice back dash from Koji, even manages to catch the burst, man. Nice burst. <laughs> okay, here we go with the Rekka extension station. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go with the 6P from RX, finally manages to get out of the corner. Nice skull, nice stained, nice skull. Okay, and Koji delaying his wall, trying not to get entired by RX. Manages to find the pressure and forcing RX in the corner. Very nice 6p yet again by RX. Ah, oh, no entire. The pressure is real and the Rekka is strong. Koji won up one round in this uh, second match. Very nice 6 just to catch the back dash. He's got the stain, got the grab. Gonna go for a meaty skull into the stained state again. Some around Koji back dashes, but no one's home. RX not committing to grabbing. And here we go with the pressure. I guess jumped in. Back with the corner pressure. This time around, Koji using the RC to extend his pressure. Get 6 speed yet again. Stain has been applied. Oh lord, and the juggle in favor of. Or X for the kill. Good stuff. We're going to empty 2k 2 d Well, actually, um, Koji using the 2k 2 d to punish a landing RX. He's gonna get the knockdown. Again with the bag that from RX to not get hit by the uh, grab attempt from Koji and punishes accordingly. Ah, and here we go with the, uh, the juggle, man. This is so strong. Here we go with the... Uh, Nazdrovia is gonna get the wall break with the stain state and the hard knockdown. Resorts to using instant Arbiter. Oh! Ah, uh, very nice burst timing, by the way, by Koji. That was the absolute, the absolute best timing he could have done it. And unfortunately for him, gets hit by the 2 a cat from RX. RX up two games to zero. Is Koji gonna be able to make a comeback? We shall see. Very nice use of the 2HS right there to hit RX out of his uh, starting frames. Again, just Koji harassing RX. Wow, what was that? That was a crazy jumping combo. It was so cool, man. RX has the coolest combo in the game, man. He really does. Ah, uh, very nice use of the far uh, S counter hit uh, of the far S. And tires with the 2HS. Are you serious? I didn't even know you could do this. That was crazy good. RX on match point. Actually, set point. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, using the teleport to get out of harm's way. Good 6p counter hit. Koji still holding onto his burst, but is definitely starting to lose a lot of life. Bad burst right there. <gasps> He's gonna get the full combo, man, into Nosdrovia. This is gonna hurt so much. No, no, no! Why? But it's still okay. He still got the. Ah, that was so unfortunate. That was so unfortunate. I feel like. Yeah, but it's still okay. It's still. Ari's got it. Ari's still keeping his head cool. Let's put this here. That's a very ominous sound, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing this. I don't want to. I don't want to pester you, you guys, with my horrible uh, singing. That was totally, totally serious, by the way. Okay, here we go. So, start of the grand final. This is going to be the last. The last match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. RX already bringing in the heat with the Nostrovia. He's gonna get the wall break with the stained state. Let's see how this turns out. Here we go with Suzura using the overhead. Okay, good stuff. RX still has the oh pressure, but gets hit by the Ram Slam man into the Roman Castle. This is gonna do a lot of, whew, a lot of damage. 
and gets hit by the uh, chip, actually, by the uh, the skull, man. Good stuff from RX takes the first round. Okay, here we go with Suzuka trying to zone and to whiff punish uh, RX attempt to throw. Oh lord, that 6p counter, this was really good. Okay, here we go. No, you do not jump on me. Our eggs definitely on point. Not wanting to let any sort of momentum into Zira's hands, man. Our eggs just smothering his opponent, man. Stuff wanting to keep the corner position and the stain state. And almost got it. That would have been... Oh, that, that he didn't have any means to. Uh, oh, Lord, and the Ram Slam, man, yet again. For the freaking damage. Look at the damage, guys. This is going to do a lot of damage. Good stuff from Suzura. And Suzura definitely eager to just run up and do stuff. And I think that RX probably picked up on this and just threw a uh, far S just to check him a bit. Very nice decision making from RX. Gets the kill for the first game. Very nice. Uh, how do you call it? Very nice challenge right there from RX. Lord. And back to pressure game. Gets hit by the sword throw, unfortunately. Yep, first safe. Oh no, nice burst. Nice burst. <laughs> and here we go with the pressure, man. RX, unfortunately, out of burst. He has to take this pressure. There's no. Oh, and the juggle, man, into the Kavadas. This is gonna hurt. Oh, Lord. And this had actually killed. This is crazy, man. This hurts so much. Good stuff from Tuzura. Here we go with the forest for chest. And the jump in from RX. He's gonna get a safe jump. Oh, tried to grab, but a little bit too far in order to do so. This is really unfortunate. Again with the pressure from Tsuzura, man, not letting up, man. You have to hold it again with the Call of the Doss. He's gonna have to get a lot of damage into every knockdown. What is gonna be the wake up? We shall see. Oh, again, here we go with the grab. Good stuff from Tsuzura. Gets the second, uh, the second match, actually. Okay, well, Tsuzura definitely waking up, getting used to the tempo of RX. Back to the neutral game, trying to whip punish each other. Very nice for S. Oh lord, and that counter hit though. Already in the corner, you have to eat it. No RC. Oh lord, and here we go with the grab, man. And Suzura just keeping the pressure, man. You have to hold it, you have to hold it. Oh, la, no one hold. Ah, the ram slam for the hit, man. Look at the damage. No 6P. Here we go with RX finally getting something going. Here's the grab. Oh, here we go, the pressure, you have to hold it. Oh lord, oh, no, gets still screwed by the 6p even though he used the RC to make it safe. This is so unfortunate. I think he committed to probably press one too many buttons and that registered as an aerial attack, probably. Maybe he's saying here we go with the 2k to the U. You run way too often, sir, towards me. <laughs> As you can see, I think RX is trying to pick up on the running habit of, uh, of Tuzura. But look at this, look at the damage. Look at the damage, man. That was so big. Oh, is that death? That would have spelled death if RX didn't have a burst. Here we go with... Oh, Lord. And he committed to an attack. And just like this, Tuzura on the verge of actually winning that Brojo Cup. On the verge of having the win, unfortunately, for RX, that is. And here we go back to the game very nicely done oh and the gold burst man okay here we go nobody home on the 6p against okay, uh, using the ramsland yet again oh catches back dash uh, this is gonna be calvados time yep calvados and here we go look at the damage where's your health bar testament where did it go oh lord so close but so far you can see Tsuzura definitely, definitely wanting to win. Oh lord, nobody home. Okay, no extension on. Oh! Very nice stuff from RX. He's got the corner position, but no, man, no. Oh no, he drops it, but it's okay. I think he wanted to drop it to continue the meaty. Oh lord, and he's gonna steal it. RX steals it back. That comeback was crazy, man. Good stuff from RX. Still alive. Okay, Arx definitely needs this round if he wants to, uh, well, make it a possibility for him to take the tournament. Okay, here we go, no jump in this time around. Okay, 
Suzuda definitely ah checking our X out this time around with the far S. Very nice, very nice combo. This is gonna do a ton of damage. I'm still I keep like getting surprised by the amount of damage that Ram causes, man. That being said, here we go with the pressure. Oh, very nice challenge from RX with the 2K2D. Oh, gets screwed by the 2K2D himself. And just like this, we are on tournament point. Let's see how this pans out. Is Suzuda going to be able to take it? Or is RX going to be able to stay alive and reset the bracket eventually? We shall see. A very nice sword throw against the grab. Who goes with the OTG to get the reset. And the... Ah, uh, the pressure is real. Oryx on his last leg doesn't have the the burst anymore. So if he gets open, it's basically going over for him. Oh lord! Here we go with the sword throw and the ram slam, and just like this, Tsuzura is going to take it. Yes, he's going to take it with the Calvados, and Tsuzura is your Frojo Cup number sixty-one champion. Good.